Hey guys, welcome to this C++ game development series where we will create a simple 2D snake game using C++ and a library called SFML. So in this first video, I'll walk you through the basic development setup that will be required for this entire series. So the first thing that you'll need is a C++ compiler. I'll be using the GNU G++ compiler for this. The second thing that you'll need is a build system. So I'll be using the make system. The third thing that you'll need is an ID or text editor and for me this will be Visual Studio Code and at last you'll need the SFML library which is simple and fast multimedia library. I really hope that you already have the first three things installed on your system. If not then I'm pretty sure that there are multiple how-to videos and guides on the internet regarding that topic. So please do check them out. So the most important thing is I'll be using a Linux system for this entire series. But don't worry, I have created a separate video for setup on Windows 2. So if you are working on a Windows system, you should watch that video instead. Link will be in the description. So let's get started by setting up SFML lib. For that, I'll first go to the official website of SFML, which is sfml-dev.org. Here I'll head over to the learn section and then under tutorials you will find the sfml and linux section so this tutorial basically explains some basics of sfml and how to set it up to run a basic gui application i really recommend you to go through this tutorial step by step if you can but for this video we only need this sudo apt get command this will install the latest version for your version of linux from the official packages repository one thing to note here is that this command is for debian based systems if you are on Fedora or on Ars based system, then the command for you will be different. If possible, I'll look up for commands for some of the common Linux distributions and add them in the description. So let's go ahead and copy this command and run it in a terminal. So the library itself is pretty small. I think it is around 2 megabytes for Windows and less than that for Linux. So it won't take much time to install. Now that the SFML library is installed, let's start creating our project. For this, I'll go to the documents folder and create a new directory called snake underscore sfml. Let's step into this directory and run code dot command. This will launch visual studio code with the current directory as the workspace. Next, we will have to set up our build system. And for this, I'll use a very nice extension available for VS code called easy C++ projects. You can search and install it from the extension marketplace. Basically, this extension generates the make file and some other settings file for VS Code so that you can build and debug your C++ code within VS Code. After installing that extension, all you have to do is launch the command palette, shortcut for which is Ctrl Shift P. Inside this, search for EasyC++, create new C++ project and press enter. Next, it will ask for which build system and platform you want to generate the project files. For me, this will be G++ slash JDB Linux. Select that and Easy C++ will generate some new files and directories. The most important file for us is the make file. This file tells the make system how it should build our code. By default, all the source files under src directory will be compiled and linked. Headers will be looked for in the include folder and executables will be generated under the bin folder. Easy C++ also generates a main.cpp file which contains a basic hello world program that you can build and run to check if everything was set up correctly. You can do this by going to the run tab and selecting start debugging or run without debugging. But the most common and ID independent way to build your program is to run the make command. For this, go to the terminal tab and select new terminal. This will launch a new integrated terminal at the bottom. And inside that, just run the make command. This will compile and link your program into an executable. And if everything goes well, you'll find a file called main under the bin folder. To run this, just type in bin forward slash main and you should see hello easy C++ project printed in the terminal. Now that our basic project has been set up, we can go back to the SFML tutorial page and copy the example program into our main.cpp file. If you try to run this right now, you will get some linking errors. This is because we have not told our build system to link to the SFML library yet. So to do that, let's go back to the tutorial page and copy the three modules that this program needs. Again, please try to read through this page if you want to know more details about these modules and what they do. Let's go to the make file and paste these flags in front of the library's variable. Save this file and now you can go back to the terminal and run make again. 
तो कोड विल गेट बिल्ड सक्सेसफुली एंड लेट्स डू बिन स्लैश मीन टू रन दिस प्रोग्राम As you can see a small GUI application gets launched displaying a green circle with the title SFML works. So that was it for the basic setup of our snake game. If you want you can play around with this code and try to change the color of this circle or the title or the shape itself. Also this code will be made available for free on GitHub. Link for which will be in the description. So hope to see you in the next video where we'll actually start creating the basic framework required for our snake game.